Can you see me now? Good. Uh, Wendy's has a promotion going with, or they paired off a promotion with the Major League Baseball or MLB TV. And they're like, hey, if you get a Frosty, tweet us your photo and you could get a chance to uh, have the remainder of the MLB season or MLB TV season free. And so I tweeted a photo and today they're like, hey, you are one of the 32,000 to have the rest of the MLB TV subscription and just sign up for all the information that we need from you and then sign in and you're, you're good to go. You got all access of all MLB games from here on out. Now I wonder, I wonder if that's could also include the playoffs, but we'll see. So I'm pretty stoked about that. I get to watch the Jays um, from the comfort of my own computer. Don't have to worry about finding them on TV. Uh, check it out. And yes, they're sticking it to the Yankees. Oh, wah, wah, wah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to watch this. Uh, maybe go up for longboard later on. Um, yeah, we'll see where the night takes me. Or the evening. So it's been decided. I'm going to go to Costco and grab uh, two hot dogs, a drink, two drinks, and some poutine. Putin. Putin? Putin. So, heading on route to Costco! So, here's the situation. I went to Costco, and I know in the past when we go through the exit rather than the entrance, they never really check for your membership or they don't ask for your card. And yeah, so I was gonna walk in and there's this attractive Asian lady here and then a, an older lady on the other side. So each doing their, their kind of keeping to that post there. And uh, hang on, I'm gonna order something here through KFC. Yeah, that's the one. That's, you want, yep. So the poutine, yeah. Yeah, the poutine. And sorry. Uh, With the uh, Wicked Zinger combo. New text from Captain right, James T. Yep. Yeah. Say listen. Yeah, what ended up happening, I didn't get the, the hot dogs or the poutine, the Putin at Costco because I got denied. I didn't bring the card. I, When I left the, the house, I was thinking to myself, I should probably grab the membership card just in case. But I was stubborn and I was like, hey, all the other times I've been there, we just walked right through the exit and nothing, there was no holdups or there was nothing wrong with that. But apparently not the case. So I'm here at KFC and we're gonna get some food here instead. Oh yeah. Food acquired, time to mow mow right now. What is going on everyone? It's Wednesday and it's in the evening. Pretty much borderline evening slash uh, night. And I'm here at my usual spot where I longboard. I think the question for day 17, if you could meet anybody uh, who's deceased, who would it be and essentially why? Uh, for me, I would say maybe something like uh, Frank Sinatra would be one. Frank Sinatra for sure. And uh, anybody, yeah, Frank Sinatra, I'm gonna stick with that one. Just wanna see uh, how he rolled back in the day. Just in general, just the badass person that he is. I want to see uh, his lifestyle, the people he hung out with. Just, that'd be cool. <laughs> Another, uh, just got into this new cartoon. I just found out about, probably not new at all. Well, I know it's not, uh, relatively new. Uh, don't know if you all heard of the cartoon called, I think it's called Pickles. Yeah, Pickles. It's about a dog. And uh, you can most definitely find it at 
What's that network? Uh, Adult Swim. It's a hilarious cartoon. Very graphic. But uh, it's called Mr. Pickles. So, oh, rocks, rocks, rocks. The whole premise is pretty much this dog who's satanic. <laughs> this cartoon follows uh, a boy. Is it Tommy? Actually, I've only seen a few episodes. Pretty sure it's Tommy. And Tommy has a dog named Mr. Pickles. And essentially, Mr. Pickles defends Tommy, this little boy. And uh, what he does, he eliminates other characters in the cartoon that are evil. So that's kind of funny how if there's an evil dog or a dog that's got satanic values or ties to the devil, yet he's protecting his, his owner his companion and uh, in doing so getting rid of or purging people who are themselves evil. The illustrations are not bad, they're pretty good and it's just <laughs> if you enjoy that kind of genre of cartoons then it's actually pretty kick-ass so it's called Mr. Pickles. I would check it out. I've got to catch up. Apparently it's only in a season one. Ooh, almost ate shit with rock that I just skated over. But yeah, there's uh, this first season's completed and I believe my buddy told me that they just picked uh, they just picked up season two so that'll be interesting to see but you guys want to see my feet again yeah there's my feet Woo! back in my car it's a little dark you can still see my face because it's still well lit in this parking lot I kind of took a, a break uh, more so because there are security guards here if you didn't notice in the background of the footage that I filmed or it, there's a lot of empty buildings. They're vacant. That's why there are security guards here. Uh, your, your mobile ones, anyways. And it's because they don't want it to get vandalized. I'm thinking I'm going to go for another few rounds around the parking lot and then change up the location and then go from there. Had a good time longboarding. Um, it's funny, I was actually contemplating. Again, I've had my longboard for about two months. And now I'm already thinking of purchasing a skateboard so I can do tricks. <laughs> I love my longboard because I can cruise on it. Uh, eventually when I get more and more comfortable, I can pick up some speed, go down hills, I can carve into corners or not really carve, that's snowboarding, but I could essentially uh, slide into corners. And so, but I was like, then I want my skateboard because I can do tricks. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video.